Hey guys, how's it going? Today, let's take a closer look at the 2011 Dodge Ram 2500 Laramie Longhorn with the Cummins turbo diesel engine. And this is going to be a full in-depth tour of the Ram. We'll start up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, go over the performance data, and show you a bunch of the features on the interior as well as exterior. And today I met John Heister Chrysler Jeep Dodge in Lillington, North Carolina. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and start it up, let it run. As you can see, it does come equipped with remote start. It's the rugged brown pearl coat exterior with light pebble beige and bark brown leather interior. The Longhorn sets itself apart with an immense amount of interior restyling. It is both beautiful and unique to the Ram itself. And we'll go through all that in its appropriate part in the video. Very nice. It's got a full leather wrap steering wheel with the brown color contrast stitching, six speed automatic transmission, with manual shift mode by the plus and the minus on the shifter column. And let's go ahead and cut on the headlights. It does have automatic lights, fog lights, as well as the hazards. Both the front windows are fully automatic. And let's go ahead and check out the exterior, shall we? finish. It goes nicely with the Ram's new aggressive styling in its current generation. From that chrome grill. As well as a detailed, nicely styled hood. matching running board. Eighteen inch aluminum alloy wheels on BF Goodrich tires. Nitrogen filled. Heavy duty suspension. And you also have a set of heavy duty rubber mud flaps in the back. Nice thickness. Full power sunroof. See the cowl indentations. Simulated vents. And also extended chrome mirrors with integrated LED turn signals. Does have rear parking assist.
trailer in package. Also has a lockable rear tailgate for added security. Here's your backup camera integrated into the handle. And it also comes from the factory with a spray-on bed liner. Very nicely done, provides a nice rough surface. Great amount of bed space. And let's go ahead and pop the hood. The Ram 2500 comes with a 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel inline six cylinder. It produces 350 horsepower at 3,000 RPM and 650 foot-pounds of torque at only 1,500 RPM. If you decide to opt for the diesel engine in the Ram 2500, you also get an exhaust braking system. Normally seen on big rigs, the exhaust brake provides additional stability as well as braking power when towing very heavy loads. And also when properly equipped, the Ram 2500's maximum tow rating is around 15,450 pounds, as well as a payload capacity of around 3,120 pounds. And the EPA estimated fuel economy ratings aren't required for this type of vehicle. The Longhorn definitely sets itself apart from the rival the King Ranch by providing a new flavor on the ranch style, I guess you could say, with unique trim, as well as stitching on the seats, accents in the chrome, and so on and so forth, and I'll show you that in just a second. It basically creates its own special look and feel that's signature to the Ram and separates it from the rest of the competition. Plenty of chrome accenting, chrome accented wood paneling, your power windows, power locks, and power mirrors. There are also heated mirrors. Like you saw a second ago, you do have stitched leather on the top of the door with the color contrast stitching, storage pockets. You do have a fully powered leather driver's seat. It's also perforated with power lumbar as well as two-person memory. Get a close up on some of the unique stitching in the seats, the perforations, and the Longhorn logo embroidered on the back of the seat. It also has side airbags and adjustable seat belts. Aluminum door sills, logoed, special carpeted, as well as rubber all-weather floor mats. Tilt steering wheel, power pedal adjustment, integrated trailer brake down below, and let's go ahead and see how she sounds. Definitely a unique sound with the Cummins. Shut her up. You have a dual zone automatic climate control. One touch recycling, fan speed, twist and down to your automatic. Different zones, front defrost as well as def rear defrost, pushing that button here. Temperature, sinking, AC, and not to mention down below your two-stage heated seats as well as ventilated seats and a heated steering wheel. Premium Alpine surround sound system. All touchscreen mobile media interface with built-in hard drive system. And as you can see, you do have standard Sirius satellite radio. 
as well as disk. You can load up MP3 files on the system, sort of like an integrated iPod. CD players located behind. It's also MP3 WMA JPEG compatible, so you can also load up photos. Seek, main menu, real-time traffic updates. System setup, audio control, Sirius travel link. Basically, it gives you nice amenities such as forecast, ski info, fuel prices, movies, as well as sports updates. Navigation, destination, Simple to use. USB input as well as auxiliary iPod input. You also have Uconnect hands-free Bluetooth telephone. Uconnect phone. Phone book. Select one of the following. New entry. Edit entry. List names. Delete. Or erase all. As well as a voice command system. Navigation. Navigation. Destination entry. Select one of the following. Guide me to a name. Street address. Find POI name. Point of interest by type. Advanced input. Or recent destinations. Tow haul mode. Your exhaust brake. Power for your rear AC outlet. As well as parking sensor controls. Active tire inflation. Your AC power outlet, four wheel drive controls, plenty of storage, cup holders, 12 volt DC power outlet, stitch center console, also with the logo, massive center console, large spanning dash. Plenty of stitched leather across the top. Auto dimming rear view mirror. Garage home link. Power rear window. And a one touch open and close automatic sunroof. Cruise control, integrated driver information system, in between the speedometer cluster. System setup. Personalizable settings. Carolina's best rock. Rock 103. Oh, that's Chris Cornell. You also have the unique trim around each gauge. Yes, either in there before that is a Greek. Something I really favor about the Longhorn. We got a bunch of chances for you to win this afternoon. Four wheel drive controls. And we'll get you qualified to win a giant. And we're going to shut her down. So, let's go ahead and check out the back seat. Wide opening doors, almost a 90 degree angle. Same interior trim, traces onto the back doors. You also have an extremely roomy rear seat. 
also with the unique leather. And this one also has the all-weather mat in the rear with a simulated barbed wire pattern on the middle. Seats flip up with one hand, no handles or anything to have to mess with to increase storage space. Little cubby down below. Very simple. Also the back pockets on the front two seats are held in by belt buckles. Kind of like a signature thing with the Longhorn as well as the King Ranch. Comfortable and supportive seating. Very rich leather textures. Rear illumination, stowage hooks, cup holders, rear speakers for your audio system, and side curtain airbags all the way around. Cup holders, so let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? This side also folds up in the same pattern. We are integrated subwoofer system, part of the Alpine. 12 volt power outlet, as well as two stage heated seats for the rear passengers. Same power adjustments for the passenger seat as well as the drivers. Jack stowage below. Storage pocket. And you also have the special ornate pattern on this trim in the dash. Two tier glove box with the USB input there. Absolutely beautiful truck. Fantastic quality and luxury. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this in-depth tour of the 2011 Dodge Ram 2500 Laramie Longhorn Edition. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where that came from. Take care everybody.